In the final quarter of the 20th century, a small spacecraft named Voyager 1 left Earth on a mission that few outside the walls of NASA could have imagined would still be active nearly 50 years later. It was September 5, 1977, a time when the Cold War hummed quietly in the background, rotary phones still rang in American homes, and most computers filled entire rooms. On that day from Cape Canaveral, Florida, an Atlas Centaur rocket thundered into the sky, carrying what would become the most distant human-made object in history. Voyager 1 was launched not in pursuit of glory or conquest, but in the spirit of discovery. A testament to the same curiosity that once pushed sailing ships across uncharted oceans. Its original assignment was ambitious but straightforward, to explore Jupiter and Saturn and their complex systems of moons and rings, providing humanity with its first close-up views of these distant gas giants. No one then could have predicted that this small probe no bigger than a compact car and armed with technology, now vastly outdated, would become humanity's lone traveller in the cosmic dark, whispering back secrets from beyond the known frontier. Alongside its twin, Voyager 2, launched just weeks earlier, the spacecraft embarked on what scientists dubbed the Grand Tour of the Outer Planets. A rare planetary alignment, occurring only once every 176 years, allowed NASA to sling Voyager from one planet to the next using gravitational assists, a sort of cosmic pinball machine that flung the probe farther and faster with each planetary pass. It was a daring and elegant plan, a demonstration of human engineering and celestial choreography at its finest. Initially, Voyager 1's mission was expected to last just five years. Its systems were designed to survive long enough to complete. Flybys of Jupiter and Saturn by the early 1980s, and what it delivered during that brief initial chapter was nothing short of breathtaking. The probe sent back dazzling images of Jupiter's great red spot, lightning storms larger than Earth, Saturn's ethereal rings, and alien moons with volcanoes of ice and subsurface oceans. For the first time, people could gaze at other worlds, not as blurry points in a telescope, but as real dynamic places, worlds with geology, weather, and perhaps even the building blocks of life. But something extraordinary happened after those scheduled encounters. Voyager 1 didn't stop. With its course now fixed and momentum carrying it beyond Saturn, it entered the unknown, heading away from the Sun and toward the edge of the solar system. Year after year, it kept flying. Decade after decade, it kept working. By the 1990s, it had become an aging marvel. By the 2000s, it was a scientific relic, still returning valuable data. And in August of 2012, something historic occurred. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the outer boundary where the solar wind, the constant stream of particles from our sun, meets the pressure of the interstellar medium. This crossing was more than a technical milestone. It was the first time any human creation had entered true interstellar space, a realm beyond the influence of our solar system. Voyager had become not just an explorer, but a pioneer in the truest sense. It now moved through a silent sea of stars, its instruments still operational, its antenna still locked on a distant Earth transmitting whispers from 14 billion miles away, a distance so vast that it takes light more than 20 hours to travel from Voyager back to us. Yet, perhaps, the most astonishing chapter of Voyager's story is the one now unfolding. Recently, it began sending back signals, data that has perplexed scientists and sparked a global scientific investigation, structured signals, rhythmic pulses, patterns that don't align with cosmic background noise, radiation spikes, or any known natural phenomena. They exhibit modulations, periodicities, and frequencies that suggest structure, not random static. Not simple background noise, something new organized, renowned physicist Dr. Michio Kaku, who has long admired the Voyager missions, compared them to messages in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. But even he was surprised by these recent anomalies. According to Kaku, the nature of the signals is unlike anything previously detected, not by Voyager or by any spacecraft in history. They don't fit established models of interstellar plasma behavior, nor are they easily dismissed as instrumentation errors. Naturally, scientists are cautious. Some theorize that these anomalies may be caused by turbulent pockets of space dust. 
or exotic magnetic fields that Voyager is now traversing. Others believe the signals could be evidence of previously unknown interactions with dark matter, the elusive, invisible material that makes up more than a quarter of the known universe. And then there are the more speculative theories. Could Voyager be intercepting data relays or navigational signals used by an advanced civilization? Is it possible that the probe has passed through a kind of galactic highway, a stretch of space utilized by intelligent life for communication or travel? No one is claiming direct proof of alien life, but the mere possibility, once taboo in serious scientific circles, is now being cautiously explored. And why not? Voyager 1 is now where no machine has gone before. Who's to say what it might find? Some physicists have proposed even more mind-bending ideas. Perhaps Voyager's anomalies are indirect evidence of higher dimensions or gravitational leaks, concepts rooted in string theory and quantum gravity. Could this aging spacecraft, designed with 1970s electronics and gold-plated copper wire, be brushing against the edge of deeper truths, realities that suggest our universe is more layered and mysterious than we ever imagined? Meanwhile, Voyager 1 continues its work. Its radioisotope thermoelectric generator, powered by decaying plutonium-238, still produces just enough electricity to keep its core instruments alive. By the mid-2030s, that power will dwindle to silence, but until then, it listens. It measures plasma density. It records magnetic shifts. It hears the vibrations of interstellar plasma through its plasma wave system, sounds that have been described as the music of the void, ghostly, beautiful, and utterly alien. These strange recordings have taken on new significance. Recently, Researchers discovered some of these audio patterns contain periodic structures, rhythms that resemble digital information more than random noise. As if something out there is speaking, not in words, but in frequency and form. Even the heliopause itself is now understood differently than before. Once thought to be a static boundary, we now know it pulses and shifts with solar cycles and galactic conditions. It behaves almost like a living membrane, flexing in response to solar storms and distant cosmic forces. The deeper we listen, the more we learn that the emptiness of space is, in fact, alive with activity, energy, and perhaps even communication. NASA, in its signature fashion, is not jumping to conclusions. It has enlisted top minds across the globe, astrophysicists, mathematicians, data analysts, and engineers, to study the signals. Known sources are being ruled out one by one. And as each explanation falls away, what remains is an invitation to ask questions we never dared voice aloud. And still, Voyager carries more than instruments. On board is the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated disc bearing sounds and images of Earth. Curated by Carl Sagan and his team, it includes greetings in 55 languages, music ranging from Mozart to Louis Armstrong, and images of human life, cities, nature and animals. It is a message not just of information, but of goodwill, our attempt to say across the stars, we are here. We wish to know you. Voyager is, above all else, a symbol. It reminds us of what we are capable of when we act not out of fear, but out of hope. It's a time capsule and a technological relic, yes, but also a philosophical mirror. It asks, ask what kind of species we want to be. Explorers or isolationists, dreamers or doubters, in the decades ahead, new missions will rise on the shoulders of Voyager's legacy. NASA's proposed interstellar probe aims to travel ten times farther, with more sophisticated tools, to explore the questions Voyager has raised but cannot answer. But Voyager 1 will always be first. It will always be the pioneer. Whether it ends up identifying dark matter, intercepting an alien signal, or simply teaching us how the universe behaves beyond our sun, its place in history is secure. As Dr. Kaku so eloquently put it, Voyager is more than a spacecraft. It's a mirror held up not just to the cosmos, but to ourselves. It reveals not only what's out there, but who we are in here. A curious, restless, determined species reaching into the dark, asking questions not just of science, but of meaning. 1. Day its voice will go silent, its battery will fail. 
The last signal will fade, but its journey will continue. Voyager 1 will drift on for eons, circling the galaxy, bearing the echo of our civilization on a disk of gold. And even if no one ever finds it, even if it sails alone forever, its mission will have been worth it, for it proved that the universe is not only wider than we imagined, but more wondrous, more alive, and filled with more possibility than we ever dared to dream. And perhaps somewhere in the dark something is listening.